Comrades, as I conclude, we've done everything humanly possible. We've been everywhere. We've spoken in different languages. Comrade Deputy President, we've followed the manual as was presented before us. We've gone door to door. We've done canvassing sheets. We've spoken to South Africans. There is nothing we have not done to speak to the people of South Africa. Now it is in the hands of the people of South Africa. Now the people of South Africa must decide if they want unemployment. They must decide if they want load shedding. They must decide if they want to remain landless. The people of South Africa, it is now in your hands. We live here very proud that we did everything to make our generation very proud. All of you who are here, your names will be called when the books of history are read that you took a stand and said you are going to fight for economic freedom in our lifetime. Let's go out, let's go in our numbers, Let's mobilize our people, the ground forces of the EFF. Now is the time for economic freedom in our lifetime. Now we have a responsibility to vote for the government of the people, for the people, to vote for the people's education. Amanda! 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 Yapa FIFA! FIFA! Yapa FIFA! I will let Yapa by Wule! I will let Yapa by Wule! Ata Yapa Tata! Thousands of economic freedom fighters, EFF supporters gathered at a stadium in Polokwane, South Africa for the party final election rally. South Africa, four main political parties have concluded their com campaign ahead of the uh, of what be a pivotal election, making a potential turning point of the countries after 30 years. Malema, the fear leader uh, of EFF, thanked his supporters for their unwavering, unwavering birthday, claiming a successful campaign. Malema said, I'm here to conclude the campaign of the EFF. I'm here to say to you, uh, we have run a good race. We are here today because we ran a very successful campaign. The ground forces of the EFF have made enjoyed uh, everybody aware that there is a child called the EFF who must be allowed to lead. Unemployment and poverty remain critical issues of South, uh, for South Africa with an employment rate of 32% the highest globally, and over half the population living uh, in poverty. Now the people of South Africa must uh, decide if they want uh, unemployment, they must decide if they want load shedding, uh, they must decide if they want to remain uh, landless, the people of South Africa. It's now uh, in your hand. We live here very proud that we did everything to make our generation very proud. The election began with a special voting on Friday, May uh, 27 at 9 South African uh, mission abroad. This will be followed by the main election on May 29th uh, across all provinces determining the uh, composition of both national and provincial uh, registration. I want to thank our leaders all over South Africa. I want to thank the ground forces of South Africa. I want to thank the officials of the EFF and special thanks to our Secretary General who was serving as a national coordinator of election. I've never seen a man who works on a detail like our Secretary General. He will give you information readily available 
on what is, what is happening where and who, who is responsible for what. So all of you comrades, you worked very hard. Go back to your provinces where you are deployed as leaders. Come back to us with victory. When you come back from your deployment, please don't come to Masakane. I will be at Union Building. Arrive at the Union Building. That is my new address. That's where you are going to find me when you come from your deployment. I want to thank my beautiful wife. I want to thank my three children who gave me an opportunity to come and serve the people of South Africa. They allowed themselves to be fatherless for the last three months. Every man with a strong woman next to him is bound to succeed. My wife is very supportive. My wife is always encouraging us to do the right thing. My wife is up there by the grandstand with my three children. One of them is called Ratana. On Tuesday, he was distributing EFF t-shirt at St. David's there, and the whites were shocked. It's all in the family. I'm not saying he's going to be a leader. Don't kill him, young. I'm just saying he knows he has to serve his people. My family knows that we don't boast about anything. We humble ourselves and we don't demand VIP status where we go. We don't display opulence because our people are struggling. When you display opulence in front of the rest of the poor masses of our people, what are you saying to their poverty? I was saying to my wife that if I don't arrange a special transport for my three aunts who are here, who have been loyal to me, who have always supported me and appreciated everything. I was telling her that if I don't organize transport for them, they are going to go into the EFF buses. They will never demand any special treatment because our grandmother did not bring us up like that. We were always asked to be very humble. When I was telling her the story before we came here, we were watching TV. The next thing we see Manitra Fina on TV with the masses going up and down. transport masses. Why? We come from a humble family. I say to my mother-in-law and all of my in-laws, continue to encourage your child to do the good thing. We are encouraged to call you as family. Today, you are sitting here with our big family. We are nothing without this stadium. These people are what make us to be who we are. Comrade Deputy President, 